Limbo is probably one of the greatest indie games I have ever played. Its stunning visuals and its amazing obstacles kept me glued to the TV for hours. The game has a creepy old black and white film feel to it, which makes it a really unique indie game. You play as a boy who wakes up in a creepy world. Your main goal in the game is to find your sister. While trying to find your sister, you realize there are some unfriendly creatures and people among you. You will have to figure out ways to get around these obstacles, which could take some time. I found myself in some areas that took me over 20 minutes just to figure out how to get to a certain location. But this game is pretty straightforward. There are checkpoints in the game, but you won't really know where you will spawn once you die, considering there are no signs that show when you have reached a checkpoint. But then again, a giant checkpoint flag in the middle of this eerie world would look pretty weird. For all you achievement and trophy junkies out there, this game does have achievements and trophies. But trust me, they aren't easy to get. Most of them require you to find hidden eggs, but there is one that requires you to play through the entire game in one sitting with five or less deaths. Considering the game took me roughly six to seven hours to complete, and I died about a hundred times, you're gonna be working on that one for a while. But Limbo is a game you're probably gonna play once and then delete it from your system. Sure, it was fun, but there was really nothing in the game that wanted me to go back and play. Aside from achievements, there's really nothing to go back for. I found it pretty disappointing. But this is a really good game for a rainy day. The graphics are amazing, and I had a lot of fun playing it, but there's really no replay value whatsoever. As always guys, my name is Ian, and I'll see you next time.